What's good, YouTube? It's somebody, boy. What the hell? What's good, YouTube? It's somebody, boy, back with another video. And today I have a video of the top seven, eight, whatever. The top things I dis I dislike about my Camaro SS. And uh, it's a few things, and I know there's gonna people be out there like, if you don't like it, why do you have a car? Because just because I dislike the features and stuff does not mean I dislike the car. So cut it out but oh my gosh i'm gonna drop it here's my camaro right here ss very very dirty but we're gonna go ahead and get into it and i'm gonna tell y'all top things i dislike about this car okay the top thing i will dislike about this car is the blind spots as many of you could have guessed the blind spots are very 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 bad and I'm sure everyone says that, but I'm gonna show y'all what I see. Right, right here, as you can see, if I have to turn around and see if a car is right there, I cannot see. And unfortunately, I do have the one SS, so I don't have the blind spot monitorings on the mirror. But what helps me with that is I have my mirrors pushed like wide out as far as I can can see like not all the way out but like to where i can barely this is what i see barely see the back of my car and that allows me to see like further over same with over here this is what i see right here and i can see and i have the horsepower to if i'm still unsure i just hit the gas see if it's good and i get over so that's really not too bad of a problem if you're used to it but when you first get the car or if you're first time driving it, that is a big problem. But you will get used to it. So it's not that bad, especially if you have the blind spot monitoring. Okay, now the next thing I dislike about this car is the windshield. As you see, the windshield is very small. Like, it is very small. Like, and this right here, this is a terrible blind spot. This right here plus the mirror. It's like if if this has happened before, I've never hit anybody. But like driving, like if I'm about to turn or something, or if I'm about to turn right, it could be a pedestrian walking right here and I won't see them. And that's a problem. But that's why you have to lean up, look at all that. Because you, you just can't really see. So that's another problem. We're gonna go ahead and get into another thing i dislike about the car now another thing i dislike about this car is the seats i'm not talking about how they're cloth none of that because i did get the one ss but even in the two ss z01 they're all the same but the seats do not recline at all so like my seat the way i'm sitting right now as you can see my seats all the way back look you see, I can move up, stop right there. Now, even if I push this up, still can't move back. You might be thinking, why do you need to let sit, sit back? Sit, whoa, why do you need to sit back? It's just like, so like if I'm chilling right here right now, I have to do this. I have to hunch down, kick my knees up. And I'm not the tallest person. I'm about six foot, six one. And now you can lower the seat all right you can like lower the seat and all that but it still does not like fix the problem like you're still your legs can go out further but it does not fix the other parts gosh this camera looks ass but even if like you're in the passenger seat it is not a good seat for road trips like you cannot lean down so usually if i'm not driving or something I'll put the seat all the way down and I'll just go like this and that's the best I can sleep like it's it's the seats are terrible but there is a way where people go in there and drill the ball and all that and then it leans all the way back but you got to take the seat off you got to take the cover off of it and that's just a lot but if I do want that that's what I'm gonna have to do let's get to the next thing another thing that comes with it and of course there's gonna be those people who say if you can't afford blah, 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 don't blah, blah, blah. 
which it's not that I can't afford it. It's just a lot. So the oil capacity that this engine holds is 10 quarts. Most cars about five, six, seven, might get a little higher than that, but this is a 6.2 liter, 6 .2 liter engine V8. So it holds 10 quarts, which is crazy. But I usually change my oil myself or I'll have a friend do it. But last time I just moved to Georgia, so I didn't have anywhere to do it. So I went, it was, it was, it was on like 120, but going from what I usually do, I'll buy the oil for like 40. Walmart, by the way, AutoZone, they charge like 40 for five quarts, but Walmart, you can get like 10 quarts for like 40 something, 45 ish. But anyways, and then I would just pay my friend and it would not be $120. But that's just something you have to deal with. It's way cheaper if you know how to change it yourself. So if you do know how to change it, I'd advise you to change it if you have the time or all any of that. So that's one thing. It doesn't bother me too much, but that is a thing I dislike. Now let's get to the next thing. Another thing I dislike, right? Now, I guess you could say challengers have the same problem, but I don't know if they about the same. The doors on this bitch is so long. Like, like if I'm parked close to something, I can't even get like, I can't even like get out all the way. Like, look, I'm in the line right here, right? Okay, there we go. Let's say I'm in the line, right? And there's a car like close. I have to get out of this little space. Even if they're in their line or they're close, they're close to their line or anything, I have to do this. I have to go like this, do this, leave it like this, and stand up and get through it like this. But that is the thing I'm gonna have to deal with. But as you see, it's a pretty long door, and them hose is heavy. So, like, like as you can see, I'm uphill in the parking garage. The door is pretty long, and if you, if you get to open this all the way, look at that. That is crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy door. And while we out the car, I'm going to go to it. The trunk space is not big at all. For a coupe, it's pretty big, which I, I know I just said it's not big, but it is, right? So... I, I do have a sub in this car, which I did not put in. It came with it. It came with a little sub from Walmart and it blew. So that, that um, doesn't count, but it was slotted anywhere, everywhere, anywhere. But I do have a sub. It's a pretty big box. I could get the little boxes or whatever. Oh, let me turn the flashlight on. So here is the sub right here. It's pretty big and it's pushed all the way back. But I would have all of this if I did not have this sub. So the trunk space isn't small, but the trunk space is not big. So if you understand what I'm saying, it's not big or small. Just don't get a sub. And you'll be straight. But do not expect to take your kids on a road trip if you have big bags. Unless you fit all your clothes in one big ass suitcase that will fit in here. But let's go back to the trunk actually. A problem with the trunk is, you see how this is cut in? They should have extended the trunk to out here. Like this should be part of the trunk. Cause like this is where the battery is, but it's like all this space over here. They could have put that somewhere else and extended this, but I don't know where they would have put these. But I'm not no damn engineer, so a Chevy engineer could have figured that out themselves. So I hope the wind not too bad by the way, cause it is windy and it's cold as hell, so. But um, the next thing I do not like about my Camaro is there's no like little storage places. Like the storage places are terrible, but I do understand this is supposed to be a track car, a race car, whatever you want to call it. And it's not supposed to have hella storage because it's supposed to be the lightest it can be. So as you can see, we are in here. Now I don't wear sunglasses, which I don't really care. But like, let's say if you wanted to put sunglasses anywhere, I mean, I guess you could slide them right here a little bit, but 
I don't know if that's really what that's for. But like you got the little door handle, which I have like little chapstick or whatever. Then this right here, you cannot fit nothing. Like it has to be all small, small items. Then I think the key is supposed to slide like this in here and sit right there. I'm pretty sure that has to be. The key fits perfectly right there. When you don't have anything like keys or anything, it sits there and it does not move. So I'm pretty sure that's where the key goes. But if you have all these keys, you're shit out of luck. So that's another thing. There's nowhere to put your phone. You can put it right here, but when you hit the gas, that shit flies, okay? Uh, now, you do have somewhat of a, uh, what is it, like a pocket, I guess? And you can fit a bunch of stuff in there. I just have like my books and all that stuff. What is this? Oh, that's some medicine. Like I have all my car info in there. And then the, uh, this is not that big. Like it looks big, but it's really not because I don't have my books in there. I just have a five hour energy for if I'm driving far and you know, get sleep. Because that is another thing I dislike about the Camaro. Yes, that is the last thing that I dislike about my Camaro. And, uh, we're just gonna give y'all one more look. I have to get a car wash. I will be tinting the windshield soon. I just haven't yet. It's very dirty inside and out. Wheels dusty. And I am gonna take my Instagram off of there. I have it just for a little bit. And I do have four inch quad tips. Uh, tinted tail lights and a tinted license plate thing. But that is going to be the end of this video. So if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe for the best Camaro content. Um, might bring some more parts in here. And yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. I'm out.